Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Nugget of Truth time with Pastor Matt. Not time with Pastor Matt. Uh, it is a rainy morning. It's a Monday morning, and it's another morning of quarantine as I look out the window to an empty high school. So like three unfun things, Monday, rain, and quarantine or social distancing. It's a triple whammy of unfun stuff. But I do have a great nugget to share with you this morning. It's nugget number 16. God is other and not like us. We shrink him down in our effort to comprehend and fully understand him. He is kabod, it's a Hebrew word, and not able to fully be conceived, uh, be fully conceived by our severe limitations. And um, it's only natural that we would try to understand something and like God, and, and the only way to do that is to kind of shrink him down to make something uh, familiar with them. Now the word kabod or kavad, I'm not sure, it's a Hebrew word and it's actually started, it's kind of word neat because the word kind of evolved over time and it started as, I think it started as the weight of something. Um, it was very heavy, it had a lot of kabod or weight to it. And I, I think as I understand it, as the word kind of evolved, it was a word that was, uh, more and more transitioned as a description of God, that he is a heavy weight. And there's substance, there's a weightiness to God. And, and um, yeah, as much as we try, um, we're never going to fully understand God. And, and that is a good thing. And because um, when we try to limit him, to understand him, we don't do it um, maliciously, obviously. But when we do that, we end up shrinking him down. And, and if we shrink him down, then he's not going to be, he's always going to be as powerful, but we won't see him as powerful. And uh, I've said it before, I don't know if we've said it in this nugget, but if you've been around DRC for a while, um, God is not at the top of creation with everything underneath him. He is apart from creation. There's creation and then there's God. And they are two separate entities. Everything in creation was created. Um, God has never always been. He's, that's another thing that's hard to wrap your brain around. But God is not created. He is the creator. And um, so I guess the question is, how do we, how do you, um, tend to shrink God down in an effort to understand him? Now, we're fortunate in that we also have uh, the person of Jesus Christ who is fully God and we can understand him a little bit more. Um, but the concept of a triune God made up of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, um, yeah, we're never going to fully comprehend that. And in our effort to do so, we might unwittingly shrink him down. So we do need to see him as other. We need to see him as intimate. We've talked about that. God is intimate and infinite at the same time. He's able to pull both of those extremes off. So so this morning, let God be kavad, or um, the big, heavy weight, the other. And, um, and that's a good thing, uh, because we can only put our trust in something that is other. We can't put our trust in anything less than that. So, all right, enjoy your rainy Monday morning as I record this. I hope that you're able to sleep in and maybe you're still in bed, but have a great day. The sun will come, I promise. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>